Hey guys, back at it again. I uh, wanted to make a second video on my coolant filtration system. And uh, a lot of this might be repetitive info, but uh, bear with me because I wanted to show you what I did differently and how I upgraded it. Basically, in a nutshell, if you have not seen the first video, if you own a 7380i, the 6.9s didn't really have a problem because they had a thicker cylinder wall, but the 7.380i had thinner cylinder walls and was more prone to a problem called cavitation. And basically, cavitation is where the coolant eats away at the cylinder walls. Little vapor pockets form. They burst and take chunks out of the engine liner. When they take chunks out of the engine liner over time, this can cause cylinder cavitation engine block failure. Um, it's not a really common problem, but it can happen. So, what Ford recommended, and what they started doing, was throwing a coolant additive into the trucks. So, you can either buy a pre-charged coolant, coolant additive mixed in, or you can buy standard green, which is what I did, and add the coolant additive yourself. And it's just Ford Motorcraft coolant additive, diesel cooling system additive. I believe the part number on that bottle is V. C8. I got that right at O'Reilly's. I think it was four or five bucks a bottle. And I believe uh, I'd have to go and look up the uh, the amount you needed. But I believe it was two full bottles. When I originally flushed my cooling system and installed the coolant filter the first time around seven to eight thousand miles ago. And you might be asking, well, what, what does this have to do with the coolant filter? Uh, and that's that's what I'm getting to now. So there's two reasons I install the coolant filter. The first is to filter out debris out of my cooling system, which I'll show you shortly. And the second is if you're running a coolant additive that you add, and you accidentally add too much. From what I was reading on the forums, it can become abrasive in your cooling system, but kind of like a safeguard if you accidentally add too much is a coolant filter. And so like, all right, it's a win-win. If I accidentally add too much uh, coolant additive, uh, it'll prevent abrasive particulates from flowing through my cooling system, and any other debris that are flowing through my coolant, cooling system also will be filtered out. So basically how I had it routed before is I had it routed solely off the return of my heater core. And this is my heater core return, this is my heater core feed, and... Um, it, I received some reluctant criticism, but, you know, it, it was good, good information explaining how I wasn't filtering it as effectively as I could. And basically, I had it set up as a bypass. This is set up as a bypass, too, but I had it set up as a bypass coming off my return from a heater cord. You can go to the first video to get a better look at it, and it was kind of a mess. It was sitting closer to my glow plug controller there, so I couldn't remove the filter without spilling coolant all over my glow plug controller. So I needed to clean it up, and that's what I did. So in short, I moved my facet pump back. I built a whole new bracket for it. I welded an aluminum plate. I uh, made like a T-type bracket and mounted that on that, uh, whatever you want to call it, the where the AC can was mounted before. Then I not I got another aluminum plate. I notched this out from my uh, lift pump feed line to my filter housing, bolted it right to that, and I bolted the coolant filter right to that plate. And um, this is still set up as a bypass, and I don't know why I didn't realize it before, um, but I, I basically, I overthought it, and I didn't, I uh, utilize the full potential of uh, this filter housing. So I believe this is a Baldwin filter housing, and there wasn't really much instruction when I received it. And I got this at a fleet supply store, basically like a commercial truck supply store. And how this is set up is this is the feed for my block. This goes into the filter housing. This is the bypass going to my heater core feed. And there's my... Uh, coolant temp sensor back there and then it returns and it comes back 
into the filter housing and back down into the top of the block. And the, the coolant filter exit port is right in the middle of that. So it kind of confused me at first. The arrows did anyway. But I realized it's just explaining that it can flow out in either direction. So since there's no interruption, it'll flow right back to my block very nicely. And since uh, coolant's going to take the path of least resistance, I should be getting better coolant uh, and more coolant flowing through that coolant filter the way it's set up now because it's it's going to go down in the filter come up and go right back instead of having to flow all the way through the heater core like it had to do before so and I I uh, wrapped everything with this thread tape called blue monster the reason I did that is cuz I was also reading on the forums where apparently one of the guys was having problem with the standard white Teflon tape and how the coolant additive was eating away at it and he had lines or uh, fittings, I mean, start leaking. I, I don't know if there's any truth to that, but maybe just didn't have his fittings snugged up well enough. But I was at the uh, hydraulic outlet store and decided to pick up that stuff. It was highly recommended by the guys there. So, without further ado, I'll show you what I pulled out of my coolant filter system. So, this is the crud I pulled out of my coolant filter uh, fitting. This isn't even out of the filter itself. Probably going to replace the filter pretty soon, though, now that I, I found this. This was all caked on the wall of my, uh, I want to say, my return fitting. And just these big chunks of... What looks to me like dirt. And that was flowing through my coolant system. That's just a broken piece of a, a hose clamp for reference. So, for whatever it's worth, uh, I wanted to show you guys that in case you're thinking about coolant, getting a coolant filter and maybe kind of on the fence. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. And as always, if you have any questions, just get a hold of me. All right.